I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Kun Cassius, IFL TV, Everlast with Spencer Fearon. Uh, a brave performance from Anthony Yard tonight. Um, yeah, it, it was. It was. Um, obviously, for us members of the camp and everything else, it wasn't a result that we wanted. But Anthony Yard has nothing to feel ashamed about. He, but they, they say like they, everyone was guessing up Baterviev or Betterbiev like he was King Kong. And he all showed he's not a King Kong. Yeah, he, he is very hard. And when I was saying to people that like, I see flaws inside of him, and they were like, oh, what are you talking about? You're only saying it because of Tundi and blah, your relationship. No. It's because we saw flaws. And I was speaking regularly with James Cook and Tundi, and certain things were, 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 were exploited. But but Tervey, he's a, he's a bad man. Let's call it as it is. He's a real, real G. A very hurtful shot. The shots, even when he's losing rounds, He'd throw out a jab and you hear the jab and when you hear it, it's, it's a different sounding, it's a different sound of a, of a punch when it's being delivered. It's like a really, it's a thudding sound. It's like, it's, it's, it's mad. But Andy Yard, I'm so proud of him. You know what I mean? And also, Tundi Ajay did the right call at the time. A lot of people, um, that was a very, very correct call. That was somebody not thinking about themselves and thought like, listen, let's call it as it is. And you know what? And credit due to Tundi. And I know that was a hard thing for him to do. You know what I mean? Love the guy, man. Love Anthony Yard. Love James Cook. Love big ads. And you know what? On that performance there, he's meant to be the baddest guy. Or one of the baddest guys. But he's the baddest guy when it comes to collectively the belts that he has. And, and Yard showed that he belongs there. And nobody thought he could perform like this. I did because I'm close to the cap. But nobody thought that. So all the credit in the world to, to, to Anthony Yard. Uh, and, and his team. The experience factor was called in after the Kovalev fight because of, I suppose, Anthony Yard's lack of experience at that level. But this time around, was experience a factor going into this fight, considering um, he'd learnt from the Kovalev fight, had the two fights with Lyndon Arthur, but going into this fight at elite level, what do you say about that? Um, you know what? When we're saying like elite level, there's, there's a couple guys that we look on the hindsight and say, well, maybe if he had like a, a Marcus Brown on his, on, his, on, his, on his resume, or maybe he had a Shalamba on his resume, or maybe, it's, no. What it was is like, Anti Yard um, was, was, was maneuvered correctly for him to get his spot. And he got his spot and he, and he, and he, 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 he did his best to take the opportunity. Unfortunately, he came up second best. There's no shame in that. There's no shame in that at all. Because I know a lot of people were like, after when they heard round six, they said, well, what? he's actually going to do it. Everyone said, he's actually going to do it. He's actually going to do it. You know what? What's done's done. You know what I mean? What's done's done. And, and like I said, I wish Andy I had nothing but the best, man. I'm very, very proud of him. Spencer Fearon, thank you very much. Like I said, a courageous and brave performance Incredible. from Anthony Yard tonight, and he'll move, I'm sure, uh, once this is out of his system, and uh, we'll see what happens. Definitely, definitely, and keep doing what you're doing, because I ain't seen you for a hot minute, so it's good to see you, sir. Looking nice and slim as well, man. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.